Onivia League of Legends highlights. Being onified. And he is going to be a polar bear IRL. This is absolutely fantastic. Canyon going to be uh, jumping on the volley bear here. Canyon has the thumbnail plot armor. The volley bear, th volley exactly. bear three, but you could still see it. I mean, the way that they are playing this is so well practiced. Canyon might be in trouble here. I mean, he's just walking at Peanut, though. Stefas presence comes down. That's going to deny a fair bit as Peanut is going to get the smite for the heal. Can Canyon actually take a kill with him is the question. The answer is absolutely not. Chovy. Picks up first blood, crab raves about it, and this could not be going nice. worse. Don't even think that was a necessary flash, but he's got hex flash, who cares? Yeah, well, Nogri's going to uh, dive on in. Doran is just going to be taken down. The flash from Dokdan to get himself out of the way, but actually, Doran survives. Dokdan's almost dead, Nogri's almost dead. There's the flash, and he does manage to pick up the kill, but the trial by fire was lined up. And that's a one for one. One for one. And Canyon still has that Rift Herald available as Lehens. He's going to flash on forward. There's the goop on the ground as the handshake is going to miss. And Octarm is going to get flung back into the waiting arms of the Poppy. They're looking for another one as well. Peanut was thinking about leaving. No, no, no. That's not what you want to do. But Kellen is going to survive. Yeah, yeah, very it, confident it, to actually just continue to try to threaten Doran and deny him CS. But with the commitment here of Canyon, even, it is going to cost them a Drake. So two Drakes to Genji. Flash engage from Kellen that went awry. And now with Teleport again for Lehenz, he's already back. You think you're going on to me? I don't think so. Lehenz is level 9 because Ruler has spent so much time roaming, as you do, as Tenna. And they see this coming. Yeah, that's the flash on in, or the ulti on in from Canyon. And that's just the explosion. <laughs> Gets it in the end. Sometimes you just press W and things are fine. Shermik is going to make his way down here as well. Elder Frost is going to F. Sorry, is going to uh, slow him down as they get some more plays. But are they trapped? Just fi filing in one after the other. Showmaker is going to try and dash this one out. Bailout comes in, but it's not going to keep him alive. And Genji do take the, the mid laner. Meanwhile, on the top side of the map, stuff's happening. Kellen's going to get himself killed by a turret. And uh, Not actually going to go to uh, Chovy, so real bad news. Flash out from Doc Dom to get away from... Yeah, it's Banshee's second as well, so Showmaker is going to do not a whole lot of damage as Lahens is once again baiting them in. Not a lot of places for Canyon to go as the flip back onto the Renata. She's real dead, the Volley Bear. Soon to follow as Lahens is just running through. Just does not care whatsoever. And yeah, Killer Instinct, I do not think so. That belongs entirely to the Singe this game. Six stacks on Dark Seal for him. His Rylize is complete. There's just nothing this guy cannot do on the Singe. His unsealed spellbook, he's getting value out of it. He looks so well prepared on this. It, it looks like a fun, for fun pick the first time these teams met up this year. And it was like, well, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's not really meta, but it's a Lehens thing. But he's making this pick look top tier right now. It makes yeah, you wonder if other people shouldn't be picking this one up. I mean, it's <laughs> complete it's control over this game. It is hard to imagine a way this one goes wrong. Uh, Kellen, bye bye. Just dead. Uh, the bailout is just yes. The bail set too high. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, so. You cannot afford that, my friend. And yes, they were offered oh, bail. Well. Remember that time where they dove the bottom for it, had a gold lead for a second, but then the turn happened and they lost it. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be another turret going down here. Yeah, Everfrost comes on in. Decent charm as Peanut's going to flash himself out of the way. Dawning Shadow is going to make sure that the Poppy never dies or, though. Um, giving us Pryo. Yeah, it's going to be a package delivered to the mid lane. Doran does secure Ocean Soul. Uh, they move that minion wave all the way up towards the inhibitor turret. I mean, not too great as Genji will start off Baron. Because why not? And there's absolutely nothing Domwin can do about it. And yeah. yeah, you got a you got an outer turret for Baron. Well, there is a uh, teleport coming in. Lehens is like, should I switch to Smite, or you guys got that under control? <laughs> <laughs> well, Lehens is just going to throw in some adhesive. Peanut's going to lock down the Baron, and now they're looking to try and turn for this team fight. Dokdom trying to fight against Peanut, who just flashes over the wall. They are just going to disengage, and you can see the comms from Gen.G. They're like, nah, we got this. Let's go for a bit of a reset. I like this for Dom and Kia, though. Take the prior they have for just a second and try to push it all the way. I mean, try to yeah. get anything you can. And, I mean, objective bounties are up, so you get a turret, it's worth it. Yeah, Peanut has found Showmaker, who just pops. Um, yeah, it went from 50% health to zero, like, in an Trying instant. Trying so desperately to kill yeah. the Quirky, but you actually will just get caught and die yourself. Unfortunately, yeah. this might just be a push to end with Baron buff. I, I don't think Dom and Kia have enough ranged damage to clear this safely. 
Yeah, Nogri also going to get caught out of position here. Oh my god, these rockets are just doing obscene damage. Like, wasn't there supposed to be a durability patch, Wolf? What happened yeah. to that, dude? Well, he checks just... those. He yeah. checks those. He missed! Oh, he'd be like, robbed. Where did you guys come from? He's going to flash <laughs> just to try and bring them over towards Peanut. The rest of Gen G are now closing in, but they don't have the Corky. Docked arm going to get flashed out of the way from. Great cannon barrage placement there as well as Peanut finds the heroic charge exactly where he needs to. The Singe comes in in the nick of time and Damwon Kia, they lose two on the bottom side of the map. Nelgari is pushing there on the top side as Canyon's doing the best he can to get rid of these super minions piling on through that mid lane. The winning strategy for Trophy was to bait them in. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> His first death of the game, but you know, it was a fair bit of bounty gold. It's not gonna really save them from the 10,000 gold lead as Nogri is going to be able to at least get some bounties from this inner turret. But uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, traded for an inhibitor and an inner turret and, and an inhibitor Nexus. turret and a Nexus turret. Likely, potentially a Nexus. Yeah, oh, I, think, well. I think they get the Nexus for this one. And yeah, there's question mark pings. It's only 50 gold. It's only 50 gold. You can get more gold uh, elsewhere on the map. That's, that's yeah. sort of the, the trades that we've been seeing a little bit this season, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> a few Barons for Nexus, a few Elders for Nexus. This time, Gen G are going to take the entire base before even thinking about any of those uh, dragons or barons or anything like that. All five members here trying to push in, take down these Nexus towers. Oh my god, Kellen takes the majority of his health bar for a one rocket. Trophy's also got a package. He delivers that. Everyone's just dead. That's the flash right on top of Showmaker, who does eventually go golden. Dawning Shadow comes in. Killer Instinct into the back line, but immediately the exhaust is going to be there. Canyon's fighting against Doran, and Doran straight up does not care about it. Three dead already. Another heroic charge from Peanut as Nogri is on top of his fountain, but he's just a quadra kill for Doran as Gen G will say goodnight to this series, and in three games, Reign supreme over Damwon Kia. Honestly, one of the most dominant three, uh, you know, or rather two to one, three game series I've, I've seen in a while.